Thank you so much for watching this inclusion video series. The purpose of this inclusion video series is to help teachers, parents, and coaches include children with visual impairments in after school sports and in physical education. We would like to thank the Lavelle Foundation, the College at Brockport, Camp Abilities, and the Institute on Movement Studies for Individuals with Visual Impairments for their support for this video series. Welcome to our video on how to include individuals with visual impairments and deaf blindness into inclusive volleyball practice and competition. My name is Peter Reifenberg. I'm a freshman at the College at Brockport. I compete in triathlons at an elite level and I'm currently studying in the field of adaptive phys ed. Today I'm going to talk to you about volleyball, a very popular sport among children with visual impairments as it is fun to play with friends and family. What follows are a series of tips to help you include students with visual impairments. Tip number one, provide orientation to the court using a tactile board. Use a tactile board to provide the student with the concept of the court, the boundaries, the positions, and the net. Tip number two, orient the child to the court itself. Together, Walk the court and identify the location of each position. Show the height and width of the volleyball net. Tip number three, teach whole, part, whole. Teach the whole game before breaking down the game into parts. Have the class play a volleyball game and explain the step-by-step -step action. Once the student understands the game, he or she can learn the required skills to participate. Tip number four, Provide instruction. Teach the unique concepts of the game, such as bump pass, set, spike, and serving. Tip number five, teach using physical guidance. Physical guidance is when the instructor or a peer moves the student with visual impairments through the motions, such as learning to serve the ball. Tip number six, teach using tactile modeling. Tactile modeling is when the student with a visual impairment feels the instructor or a peer go through the motion such as setting the ball. Tip number seven, task analysis. Task analysis is when the skill is broken down into component parts. Always accompany each step with clear and concise verbal instructions. For example, spiking a ball. The skill requires multiple steps. After several practices, have the student repeat the drill at game speed. Tip number eight, game modifications. Here are some game modifications. One, a bell volleyball. Two, a plastic bag around the volleyball for sound. Three, a portable sound source on the net. Four, bright pennies. Five, verbal or audio assistance, six, human guide, seven, allow a bounce, eight, allow the player to walk up to the net, nine, allow a catch, 10, allow the serve from different distances from the net. Tip number nine, game announcing. Always have an announcer for games so the student with visual impairments knows what is happening during the volleyball game. Tips for teaching children who are deaf-blind. One, determine the best way to communicate before and during the activity. This may be with tactile signs or tactile cues. Two, ensure the student knows all terms and concepts associated with the sport. Three, explain the signs and names of all equipment, scoring, and strategies. Volleyball can be fun and enjoyable for children with visual impairments. With some thoughtful modifications, they can participate easily in class play or after-school sports. Support for this video provided by the Lavelle Fund for the Blind, the College at Brockport, Camp Abilities, the Institute for Movement Studies for Individuals with Visual Impairments, and the American Printing House for the Blind. 
Special thanks to all the talent who made this video possible. Executive Producer, Dr. Lauren J. Lieberman. Content Specialists and Script Writers, Dr. Pamela Highback beach Tristan Pierce, Judy Bird, Rachel Sherman. Teachers, Matt Farwell, Peter Reifensberger. Narrator, Ruth Childs. Video Producer, Anne M. Geralico Perlman.